All right, yeah, I just wanted to show you how uh, how the model came out. Um, I think not too bad. So this model kit I picked up about two weeks ago. I paid uh, $6 Canadian. I got it at the local hobby store. Um, and I wanted to use this more or less as a practice plane. I haven't done a model in, you know, my, probably since I was a kid. Um, and I did those really poorly. Um, and I'm glad I did. I learned lots of things in the sense that, um, uh, especially with, you know, something like a biplane. Um, and the next one I want to do is a triplane. Um, is paint things first and then assemble as much as possible because, oh my God, what a nightmare. I, I assembled everything and it was really difficult. But at one point I just went, you know what, you're just, it's just practice just to, to figure things out. And I went my way. I just painted whatever and I'm just, you're going to see. Well, I'll show you. Um, so hopefully you can see this, I think. Yeah, so I'll try to go nice and slow or, or I don't know, should I have put it on a thing and, and, uh, well, I'll try to go tiny or whatever. We'll see how it works. I'll try to get my hands out of the way. So everything is deco art paint. Um, I didn't use any, you know, techniques or any of that stuff. Um, I'm not, oh God, do I ever I need a lot of practice doing decals as well too. I was terrible. So the tail, the tail one I had to actually hand paint afterwards here um, because um, I screwed up the decal. It was interesting. It kept saying, don't you touch your, I was watching that thing on YouTube or something, and, or reading, it, uh, yeah, the how-to thing, and it said, don't touch it with your fingers. Of course, said, well, what did I do? I touched it with my fingers. Um, broke it, and then I just was like, you know what, screw this, I'll do it by hand. It came out okay, I think. Um, I'll go through the, the colors. Um, I think I, oops, I think I did all right. Um, like I said, it's not uh, whatever. So I used, for example, you can see here at the, I used, those are supposed to go on the wheels. I just thought it looked kind of neat uh, that way. Um, so, and I alternated the colors kind of thing. If you can kind of see a little bit of variation, I don't know if you can. So that's antique white, and then it goes to antique white, and then antique white here, and that, that's tan, tan, and then tan. I should, I don't know if I'm putting it, I should get, um, um, get my hands out of the way or if I'm doing this right or wrong or whatever. Um, and then um, the dark, the, this darker green is uh, uh, celery green, and then it, you can just see on the tips on the bottom it goes celery green, so it alternates. And then this one's jade green, and then it's the main ba uh, whatever. And then I also varied it there, and this is a this is festive green mixed with a little bit of shimmering silver. Um, I had to have camel in it for goodness sake, so that's camel. Um, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Um, that's muted gold. Same as uh, here, that's muted gold as well. Uh, that's ca uh, muted gold, that's camel. That's so darn it. Uh, milk chocolate. I love those copper machine gun thingamajigs. They look wicked as far as I'm concerned. And that's uh, the silver, and then I use some br uh, bright brass, and then zinc, and that's also some bright brass. Um, that's about it, really. And then uh, I think that's it. Yeah, and that's colonial blue, that's antique white, and that's Tuscan red. And those are re real decals here. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not doing that, doing whatever. Oh, and that's, uh, did I say, that's avocado. And then, uh, yeah, I popped, and then I made some of my own. So those are not my, but I could still do that. Uh, use the uh, laser printer and then um, transfer, them on, uh, transfer them onto packing tape. Um, I did put in the 97th for the 97th Landwehr Brigade. And then uh, my, my grandfather on my dad's side, uh, his payroll or something to do with his World War II number was C12094 so I thought hey you know, I'll pop that in kind of thing so sorry if I'm not because I'm not looking at the screen and I should have so that's it and then yeah I did this uh, I mean, I don't know, looks, looks all right for uh, like I said for a practice um, yeah hold on I'll, I'll try to yeah that looks all right but you can see what it was supposed to um, look like kind of thing so but uh, yeah I'm pretty darn happy uh, what I would really like to get actually is a de, a de Havilland DH4 
Um, I've been watching the Red Bear. I don't know if they were uh, using that in that mo movie, probably. Um, and they had the, oh my god, they would just look so cool, like something from a steampunk uh, thingamajig. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This is fun. I, I've uh, enjoyed this, but like I said, I'll, the next time I'll uh, I'll do it a little bit um, different. Now I'm going to try to figure out where I'm going to hang it on from my ceiling somewhere. I wouldn't mind doing that, but, uh, you know, hey, hey man, not bad. I did want to try to make this as a like a little uh, face, but it didn't kind of work that way, like a nose, like a hello. But uh, oh well. Okay, that's it. See you later.